All right, hey guys, what is up? So I'm gonna make a tutorial for uh, Super Smash Flash 2. If you guys don't know, uh, online is is gonna be out. It should have been out yesterday. It was, maybe it's gonna be out today. Point is, uh, soon it, it's coming out. So I'm pretty excited, and uh, and I was, you know, I made a post on Reddit about it, and a lot of people have a lot of reservations, and most of them come from uh, uh, the controller. And uh, so a buddy of mine, uh, C Sharp, Big, uh, big shout-outs to him. This guy, he figured out a really cool method to make it so that your controller feels pretty damn close to analog. So the idea is that when you dash in a direction, just like Melee or Brawl, if you press the stick all the way to the right, you'll dash. And if you move it slightly to the right or left, you'll walk. So full stick in one direction is a dash, and slight is a walk. So this allows you to do tilts, of course, easily, and all that good stuff. Um, by default, the default controls without X pattern or you know, um, is it's not good, and I can and I can understand why people wouldn't like it. But this honestly, this will alleviate a lot of your complaints. Like it's not perfect, but honestly, it's close enough to the point where you won't even notice it for the most part. Um, so let's check it out. So um, by default, this is silly. Either you auto dash, which means no matter how slight you move it, the stick, it's always going to go boom, 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 you know, super dash mode all the time. You can do dash tap or double tap dash, which is, oh, excuse me. It's um, basically you, you tap twice in a direction and then you'll start dashing, which is also clunky. The other option is to hold a button to dash, which is really silly. So, so it's, it's, all, it's all not good. The default controls aren't great. And it, me personally, I would have been willing to learn it. But I understand that not everyone is, and now that Sharp has showed me this trick, I'm never going to use their default controls ever again. So, this tutorial assumes you know how to use X-Patter. If you don't know how to use X-Patter, you can easily look up a tutorial online on YouTube. It's really simple. It's uh, You can get it off Pirate Bay. You can you can buy it. Uh, honestly, you should buy it. It's not that expensive. It's like $10, and uh, it's a great program. So, really, he, he, he deserves your money. If you use the program a lot, you... You, you, you owe it to him to say thanks, okay? Um, but anyways, let's check out the trick. Uh, we're only looking at two two buttons, which is left and right. So let's look at... This is what you're going to see when you first do it. So I have, you know, of course, W, A, S, D, you know, and A is left, D is right. So let's go to right. So we go to D. We go to advanced. All right, let's check it out. So what we want to do here, we notice there's a blank box to the, next to the D. We click on that. And you see where it says 10%? We want to raise that to 95. So hit that plus button there and do it again. So now we're at 95. We want to go to add distance zone. So we add the distance zone and then we add D again. And then we add uh, the button for dash. So, and I have that as the number two. Doesn't matter what it is, obviously. It could be whatever you want. And I'm going to, oops, where to go? Uh, right behind. Okay, and we go two. And there we go. That's actually it. Um, let me just check to make sure my left one is the same as well. Yep, see, A95, A2. So, I wish I had a camera to show show what it looks like in my hand. So, just see, just so I can show you how cool this is. But, um, let's, uh, let's see. The closest thing I can do would be to, uh, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to have this window open and I'm going to both walk and run and you'll see you'll see as I like move my controller you see how it like lights up see how it uh, lights up over here yeah so let's um let me go back go solo go training and uh, da -da -da -da. I'll, put, I'll pick uh, pick Falcon and uh, yeah let's uh, let's go to go to FD. Oops. I got a lot of programs running. Okay, cool. All right. So here we go. Here's Falcon. Now let's show you. All right. Now normally, now no, here's, we're going to look at A and D, right? Okay. So here's D. I'm walking, right? I'm walking. Here's A. Walking. Now, here's Dash. See that? Isn't that pretty cool? So the same button can be used, or I'm sorry, the, same, the stick can be used for both things, both walking and dashing. And that's the biggest, most important thing 
It, it's, it's like, it's, I don't know, it blows me away how cool this is. It's so simple, yet it fixes like a huge problem. So anyways, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, any questions, um, leave in the comments, let me know. And uh, anyways, uh, enjoy the game. So take care, peace.